Everybody, it's your boy, the Speaking Reels in the building. So, today I wanted to talk to you about why it's really problematic to conform to society and the, the people around you and how can it affect your lives, especially financially. And um, this may come off really counterintuitive, but I'm going to actually be using my um, myself as an example. So, a couple of years ago, I was in recruiting school because, as you know, I used to be in the Navy, and um, I had a good friend there that I met there, and he had a BMW, and um, it was a nice little car, a nice little BMW. It wasn't like a, a newer model, but he was making some minimum payments on it, and he enjoyed his BMW. Now, I remember one time we was going to a dealership, and he always wanted a truck, and my advice when he said he always wanted a truck, I was like, yeah, you want a truck, man? Let's just go to the dealership, check the truck out. You know, life is short, blase, blase. And we go to the dealership, and he, he sees this truck. And this truck, no I'm, no, no shitting you about maybe close to $60,000 for the truck. And after sitting down with the dealer and all that good Gucci stuff, his payment would be around close to seven, if not $800. I can't remember exactly, but anywhere in between. And you know what my advice was? I told him, I said... I said, bro, doesn't matter how much you pay a month, as long as that truck is going to make you happy, bro, life is short, you should get that truck. That was my advice to him. Now, let's take a look at my background. This is coming from a guy, his first car was a Mercedes, his second car was a Mercedes, his third car was a Mercedes, and my payments used to be anywhere from... 600 close to 700 dollars more importantly i could not afford that car but in my mind i bought it because it made me happy in my mind i bought it because it made me feel good in my mind it was the right thing to do but looking back now the reality is i come from a place brooklyn new york right where brooklyn new york is 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 normally a, a big fashion show you know it's a place where style is really prevalent everybody wants to you know look the best and, and, and rock the tightest gear you know we're wearing uh, Prada and Gucci or Fendi you know Louis Vuitton and it's like a big competition Jordans I mean you name it you know we wear expensive jeans and and when I used to live there you know, I used to wear $500 Prada shoes and $300 jeans, but I work a nine to five making nine fifty an hour. And, and, and that was normal to me, but you know, we're social animals, so we want to conform. But the reality is, you know, we just want to feel important and, and, and we're following each other to, you know, cause when you buy that stuff, perfect example, if you think your Gucci belt that you're wearing right now, you like it because you just like how the G is shaped and design and the belt. And, you know, if you think actually believe that's the reason why you buy a Gucci belt, you are sadly mistaken and you are conforming blindly and you don't even know it. And if you if you still don't believe me, just ask the, the, the fashion designers who bought Payless shoes for a thousand dollars when those shoes were worth like thirty five bucks. And the reason they bought them is because they were tricked. They were told that this is the newest fashion. It was a social experiment. And which is like the perfect example of nothing in life has any meaning except the meaning that we give it. But yet they conformed and bought those shoes. So trust me, the Gucci belt that you're rocking right now, you're rocking that Gucci belt in most cases because somebody else put value on it and you bought into that value and you're rocking it because you feel a sense of importance because it's a Gucci belt because somebody of importance also rocked that. Really think about that. Now, the numbers don't lie. The numbers say, statistically, 70% of all Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. They're broke and they don't have no money in their bank accounts. So that means that all the, 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 the Mercedes Benz you see drive around the neighborhood, the, the big houses you see in your same neighborhood, the people rocking the Gucci belts and the Prada shoes, all of these, the Maseratis, by the way, I have a couple of friends who has Maseratis, don't get in your feelings, not pointing nobody out. That means seven out of 10 people in your neighborhood right now are broke, don't have any savings accounts, but they have the big house though, they have the, the nice car though, 
But yet, if they lose their job or whatever's bringing that income in, they will probably be on the streets in a couple of months. And this is what we're conforming to. And you see, you know, as the saying goes, shit rolls downhill. So you really got to be really take a deep look at yourself and especially when it comes to your finances, um, who you're following. Because everybody on social media who's portraying to be whatever it is, then they're, they're really not that. And, you know, most people don't have the testicular fortitude to be transparent. So be cognizant of who you're following because nothing in life has any meaning except the meaning that we give it. You can be just as happy in a Honda Civic or you can be just as happy in a Mercedes Benz. It's no difference. It's just the value that somebody else placed on it. Why not make sure that your finances are right, follow the right people so you don't make stupid decisions? So that's my story. I was real transparent about it. I, I'm not embarrassed about it because I'm a diff totally different person now. I, I definitely have a new paradigm shift in my life and I look at things a lot differently. And the reason why the next car, lavish car that I buy, because I actually do like cars, I'm going to be ready to afford it. I'm not just going to buy it because somebody else is buying it or I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses because in most cases, the Joneses are broke. You do the research yourself. You will see statistically most people are broke. So I hope you get some value from this message. Please share because somebody needs to hear it, man. It's 2019. We got to be more aware, more cognizant and prudent of the choices that we make, especially when it comes to our finances. Don't buy stuff because everybody else got it because everybody else is broke. Make a decision for yourself. Get your finances in order and do what's best for you. This your boy speaking real time. I love y'all. I hope you get some value from this. Please share it. Remember, don't get butt hurt if I say Maserati or Benz, if you have a Benz or whatever. I'm not talking about you. I'm just speaking in general. Love y'all. God bless. Peace.